about in my chair. Oh, I love that. Um, that was Bob and I, of course. And uh, we had he had this dodgy old guitar, a sack of shite acoustic, you know, with status quo stickers on it. And we were at my mother and father's house in in Bromley, Park Avenue, Bromley. I loved it there. And I don't know, I think Bob's, I was trying to do something, I couldn't play guitar. Dun, 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 shit. Dun, 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 and we got da 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 because it goes up on the, on the way up. It's uh, it's an amazing on the way back down. It's the minus, which is kind of weird. And we were in this dodgy it was just kitchen, and I said, somehow we got this thing about in my chair. Everything was finished, and we used to love the idea that you had this smoke. God knows what people, anybody has a smoke and goes that far out of their tree should be trying something else. And it was all about I, I saw her talking in my ears of burning, but starting walking, and I'm still here in my chair. And at the time, it, it took about four or five minutes to write, which they're always, again, they're always donkey's knob. And it's the ones where you can procrastinate over, don't really. And, uh, you know, this is really wonderful, and it never is. And that one took a few minutes, was written. I remember my dad going, silly ass, thanks, Dad. And um, he was thawing some onions at the time for his hot dogs in his van. I was really upset about that, he didn't use real onions. I'm over it now. And um, and hence we had matched it uh, in my chair. And of course it was released and we were trying to do the take of it. And John Schroeder kept saying it doesn't have that. Mm, I suppose it should have had a bit more unearthiness about it. And da -da -la -la. And he said, let's go over the road for a drink. What the fuck's he talking about? I don't drink. So we went over the road. For a... I'm not sure if this is the day that Rick dressed up as the woman and went over there, but we won't go into that right now. And uh, we went over there as some sort of drink, I think, and came back and did one or two more takes and got it, and that was it. It's something, and it, that's I think the, the magic of music is just something's in the take. You get the next take, just, and I'm still aware of that stuff we were doing yesterday and we've been doing it over the years. Is that it's exactly the same, but that has something. It's intangible, I suppose. Again, in, in, we're talking about Simon Cowell and whatever else. If we could do that over and over again, people think we just do it over again like a piece of piss. No, if I could, I would. <laughs> but you can't. It, it, one take, you go, that's blinding. Next take, it's a suck of shit. Why does it do that? And that's why I don't, I still don't understand what it is. There's something in the, in the take. I get, I get the look in your eyes sometimes. You're not quite getting what you want, she cried. Oh, no, 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 no. Did no, you get the she cried bit? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, we, were, we spoke to Jim Lee last Monday. And Jim, Jimmy? Jim said... I'm going to eat you next time I see you, Jim. Go on. Jim, Jim said, uh, when you ask them to explain Bob Young, he said, please tell them that Jim Lee said, in my mind, Bob Young to status quo is like a nice jug of cream with a good pot of coffee. You want testing, your medication. You haven't been taking your medication, have you? I told you to stay on the medication. He came to see me on the solo tour this, last, whenever it was. He came to see me and he said, oh, no, I'm into real music now. And I found that disappointing. Um, as, though there's, as though there's this, he does some chamber music, I think, or some sort of classical quartets. And some, um, it's just music, love. But we got on so well with those guys for years and years and years. And I again, learnt the lesson from them that we were doing whatever we did in England. We supported them various places. And we turned up in the States somewhere. We were doing a show with them and we got in a coffee shop in the hotel. And I remember Noddy saying to, to Jimmy something. See, your friend was right, wasn't he? And I can't remember what it was about. I remember, I think I said to him, you're just pushing out too many singles. Too fast, you know. And I think it might have been that. But whatever, we had this fabulous chat. We really knocked out to see each other again. And we go to sound check. And you know, I said just now about you're trying to bugger up the blokes coming after you or before. They stayed on that stage as long as possible to do their sound check. So if they could stop us getting a sound check, they. And that's when I sort of realised, which is fine, that you muck us or not, uh, 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 once it comes to work. Uh, 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 uh. So I said, once you're on. Uh, 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 uh. It's a different ball game, and that it kind of upset me a little at the time, but no, that's the way it is. But anyway, the Slade boys, great guys, we had great times with him. I was, I, I love Noddy. I used to love 
going around and pissing and shaking his work. You know, people's calling, oh, Nobby. That's Noddy. Nobby! Which is why I think some years later he did Nobby's Nuts. <laughs> like Noddy a lot. Well, before we get back to Bob Young, because that was brilliant, what about the Slade thing? Because I, I read a quote in Sounds magazine many, many, many years ago from Rick when he said, yeah, well, everything was going really well. We were really happy with our place in life. And then we found out these geezers from Wolverhampton are bigger amps than we had, and we weren't having that, basically. So... <laughs> <laughs> you're a boy you are Rick um, no I don't remember anything to do with it Rick's always been a big amp no I don't care um, but we did see them so oh Christ yeah <laughs> we did this gig and at this time people were getting doubles you know you'd do doubles it's a good idea now but we can't and uh, we were playing at some place out in the country in this kind of barn so we're realising we've got a problem. We're not going to get to the double. And we needed... The double was a much better payer than the, the second one was a much better payer than the first one. But it made quite a good day, so... Bob's setting it up. This is not going to fucking work. We're never going to get... He said, don't worry, I'll work something out. I said, what do you mean fucking work something out? We can't get out of here. So he disappears for about, I don't know, 35 minutes. Comes back, he said, Gerald, we're going on in a minute. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. So we go on... Before the people come in, played to an empty room. We played the promoter's wife, in fact. And um, <laughs> we, he packs the gear up and we're driving out and all the people queuing up and getting, we're waving at them as we go. And we go off to this other gig to play this other second. And um, we walked in, I think Slade were on at this point, doing Get Down, Get With It. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, that was good. I mean, I love Little Richard, but it pissed his version. And it's got to go something if it's his version. They were really fucking tremendous. and uh, But I, d I never felt them a threat like that or the amp like that. Rick's very good at those kind of things and he probably doesn't even remember until that just sounds good. He's very good at that. Um, but I just thought it was a classic move. Bob had actually spoken to the promoter's wife for about 15, 20 minutes. <coughs> All the blokes are going, yeah, 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 you're such much as... And, um, he managed to talk, we got paid, we went on before the, I don't know what they did or how they explained to the punter, well, where's the band then? They had to go. <laughs> and we got paid and then went to see Slade somewhere. Yeah.